Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be talking about products that you really don't need to spend money on. And this is something I have to keep reminding myself too, because I've gotten to a point where I can afford to try out, experiment with some more higher end products. And really at the end of the day, these are products that have such amazing, amazing drugstore versions that there really is no need to spend any more than a couple of dollars on them. So before we jump into this video, I'm, I'm feeling this adorable look. I thrive in the winter, you guys. You don't even know. I love this scarf. I love chunky scarves. The hair is out to play. The beanie is kind of sort of on, but not really. Well, <laughs> don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos. And if you haven't and you'd like to, I really hope you would consider subscribing so that you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. And for the month of December, my birthday month, I'll be posting a video or live stream every day. So I have five categories of products that you really never need to spend a lot of money on. And the first category is eyeshadow primer slash glitter glue. Since these are both kind of primers, I mush them together into one category and I have my two favorite affordable options here. For eyeshadow primer, it is the Milani eyeshadow primer. This changed my life. I believe I found this out through Emily Noel 83, but this is such a great eyeshadow primer from the drugstore. It's a bottle that lasts forever and it's incredibly affordable and it's a clear formula, so it's not tinted. So literally any skin tone, any skin type can use this primer. I really, 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 really recommend that everyone use an eyeshadow primer, especially if you have hooded lids like I do. Every day that I do my eye makeup, which is every day, I use an eyeshadow primer and I use a glitter primer. Those are the two ways to ensure that the eyeshadow that you put on will stay on despite the fact that your lids are so hooded and rubbing against each other all day. This is an amazing drugstore version. I know I tend to use some other high-end versions, but really, I don't need to buy any of those. None of those are necessary because you have such a great version right here from Milani. For the glitter primer, <laughs> There really is no other option. It's the NYX Glitter Primer. I use this literally in every single eyeshadow tutorial, every single get ready with me, every single time I am putting a shade on my lid, this is on there. This is so amazing that I haven't even tried <laughs> any like higher end glitter primers because like what's the point? This works amazingly, it's a large bottle, it lasts me forever, and it's incredibly affordable. There's literally no reason to do anything else so like I said if you have hooded lids I would highly recommend you try this out and if you don't have hooded lids I would recommend you use this if you're going for like a really glam look if you're looking for a look with lots of glitter if you like loose glitter this is just a really good adhesive it really keeps everything on my lids which are so hooded and if it can keep product on my lids it can keep product in anybody's lids <laughs> the next category of product that you really don't need to spend money on are loose powders. There are so many great loose powders at the drugstore and now there are even great shade ranges because I know before there was an issue with drugstore products and shades. I feel like now we're finally in a place where you can find a good range of foundations, concealers, base products, powders at the drugstore, and I know it wasn't always that way. My first favorite unfortunately really only comes in one shade so this one, it's a good product if you can use it, but I know it's not going to work for every skin tone. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. This is great if you have really oily skin. It's I like it for my under eyes, even though they are a bit dry. It doesn't look too bad there, but I really like this for just setting my oily areas right around my nose and right around my chin. This, again, lasts a long time. You get 10 grams of product in here. This is always under $10 wherever I look at it, either at Target, CVS, Walgreens, really affordable, really great powder, but the sh like I said, there's literally just one shade of this powder. The best drugstore powder, in my humble opinion, has a huge shade range, incredibly affordable, lots of product. You get twice the amount of product in this powder than you do in that Rimmel powder, and that is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. I could say this is probably the best product Maybelline has. It is incredible. I, okay, so first of all, I love the design of this container. It's a square, but then the top has 
your powder. You can just dip it in right here, use it, and then it's, it's so much cleaner than any other powder that I have. It's 20 grams of product. I used up already one of these and it took me months of everyday use. This is actually the one that I keep in my backup drawer that I am heavily tempted to use up, but I'm not gonna bring this back out until I finish up this Rimmel one. But this is such an amazing powder. You can use this all over your face. You can use this under your eyes to bake. You can use this in your oily areas, dry areas. I have combo skin, so I have both. This looks amazing everywhere. Like I said, the shade range on this is incredible for the drugstore. You're getting a lot of product and it's affordable. There's really no reason to use any other loose powder, particularly higher end, because there's still a shade range issue there, right? Ugh. Mm. Mm. My favorite loose powder of all time, high end, low end, everything, and it's affordable. There really is no reason for me to go out and buy any more loose powders, but I do because I'm curious, but you know what, despite that, no matter what I try, I come back to this one, and I prefer this one. So save yourself some money, <laughs> don't do what I do and just buy things because you're curious. Be smart, just get the Maybelline loose powder. The next product that you never need to spend more than a couple of dollars on is mascara. Now I know I am uh, recently bad at trying out some higher end mascaras and falling in love with them, but at the end of the day, I would be just perfectly fine with two drugstore mascaras that perform incredibly. The first one I've already panned and I don't have the bottle anymore so I'll throw a picture up. It is the Essence False Lash Effect Mascara and it's the one that comes in the green bottle. This is between $3 and $4. For 3 to $4 you get lashes that actually look like falsies. They are... oh. God, I love this mascara. It is just, it separates all of my lashes. It holds the curl for a full work day. Holds that curl. And it's nice and black, so it just, oh, it just looks so good and it's so affordable. I would be fine using that mascara, right? But since I have a YouTube channel and since I am just curious, sometimes against my better judgment, I have tried out some higher end mascaras. You really don't need to. You can just be fine with that mascara. Another drugstore mascara that I've fallen in love with and use so often is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. You can use this on your lower lash line. It will not smudge, it'll hold, you know, hold tight all day. I like using this to layer. So my perfect drugstore eyelashes would be first going in with the Mega Length on my upper lashes and then going in with the Essence False Lash Effect and then enjoying beautiful lashes. I've just recently gotten into layering mascaras. I love layering mascaras and I didn't really know it could make such a big difference when you do. I'd highly recommend it. If you have one or two mascaras lying around, try layering them and see how much of a difference it really can make. But that being said, you never need to spend money for a mascara because you can get incredible mascaras for less than five dollars especially because this is a product you really should be throwing out after the three months have gone by eyeliners and mascaras for something that you're going through so quickly i really like in the long run don't think it's feasible or smart to invest a lot of money into them because they're gonna get rotated out really quickly if we're talking about what would be a good investment brushes palettes things that are going to last you a long time, tools, not something you're going to get thrown out after nine weeks. The next category of product you never really should spend too much money on is concealer. And this I struggled with for a long time too. I, I felt like I had gone through the entire drugstore and could not find a good concealer. I needed something full coverage. I needed something that wouldn't crease like mad. I needed something that wouldn't look too dry under my eyes and I felt like I spent months and could never find anything. Well I finally found a bunch of amazing drugstore concealers and they rival higher-end ones. There aren't really that many high-end concealers that I like nowadays because I keep reaching for these drugstore ones. The first one is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Concealer. 
I just recently purchased the super size bottles because their original bottles are fairly small. I'm trying to see how much product is actually in this one. So this bigger bottle has 13 grams of product. I'm not sure how different that is from like their regular bottle. I'll throw it up on the screen here. But I loved this concealer and so I repurchased it. I panned two of these and then I bought this one. I have the shade C6 and it's a little bit light so it's great for under my eyes. This concealer does everything that I just said I wanted from a concealer. It's incredible. It's affordable. It has a large shade range and I love it. My other favorite affordable concealer unfortunately doesn't have as great of a shade range but it is the Ulta in-house brand concealer. I have these on backup. I love this concealer. It is so affordable. I think it's the cheapest concealer that I've ever purchased. I love it. Full coverage just like the Makeup Revolution one but the Makeup Revolution one does win just because it has a better shade range. And the last product you should also never spend too much money on is eyeliner. And I'm talking specifically liquid eyeliner. I have three favorites here. I've ha Honestly, I haven't bought too many high-end eyeliners just because I'm very happy with what I've been able to find at the drugstore. My favorites include the Milani Eye Tech Extreme Liquid Eyeliner in black, the NYX Epic Ink Liner in black, and I also like this in brown as well, but for the most part, I tend to stick to a black liquid liner. And my last favorite is from Physicians Formula, and it's their Eye Booster in Ultra Black. Make sure it's the Ultra Black and not the black, because the black looks a little gray and grungy. I mean, if you're looking for that look, pick up the black. It's definitely a look, but if you're looking for like a nice solid black liner, go for the Ultra Black. Again, liquid liner is a product that you should be throwing out after it hits that three month mark just to ensure that you're not getting any infections, any, you know, it is good practice that anything you're using right around your eye area that you do throw out after three months. And just because you have to throw it out that often doesn't mean you can't get a great quality product. If you're looking for a good liner, don't go for anything from Sephora, don't spend too much money, pick out either the Milani, the NYX, or the Physician's Formula. So those are five categories of products that you really never should spend too much money on because you can get amazing options from the drugstore. Let me know down below what you thought of these and if you have any other suggestions for these categories that you would add to this list. Thank you so much for watching and for spending some time with me today and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. You know, it's funny, I'm like pretending to be cold, but up here in my attic, it's like really hot. <laughs> but I love this cute outfit. <laughs> I feel like I should be having like a little cappuccino in Paris.